guys care about our planets? Any environmentalists in here? <laughs> All right. How many of you guys have attempted to take shorter showers or maybe installed some low flow toilets or shower heads to reduce your water consumption? Okay. Um, how many of you guys use hybrid cars or electric vehicles? Not so many? I don't. <laughs> um, what about solar panels to decrease your greenhouse gas emissions? Solar panels? All right. And how many of you guys are vegan or you own plants? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are probably like, why is she asking us what we eat? What does that have to do with the environment? But a lot of people don't know that you can make the most significant impact on the planet just by eating a plant-based diet. Um, Um, to grow the, all the food that a vegan needs in one year, it only takes one sixth of an acre. Vegetarians would use one half of an acre, and meat eaters we take three acres of land. So um, that just shows you how much vegans use less of, um, of the land. And then we can talk about greenhouse gas emissions. Animal agriculture is responsible for 18% of the greenhouse gas emissions um, every year in the world, which is more than all of transportation put together at 13%. So that means all of the planes, boats, trains, buses, cars, all of the greenhouse gas emissions from those does not add up to animal agriculture, which is the meat and dairy and egg industries. Uh, methane, aka cow farts, will trap up to 100 times more heat than carbon dioxide, but environmentalists will tell you reduce your carbon footprint by you know biking to work or um, carpooling, use an electric vehicle, but they just choose to ignore the methane and the elephants in the room or the cow in the room. So we can move on to water. Animal agriculture uses up to a third of the world's fresh water. Um, environmental groups tell you to reduce the amount of water you use by taking shorter showers or installing low flow toilets, low flow shower heads, or ripping out your green luscious lawns and replacing them with drought resistant landscapes. I actually did all of those things last year to my home in order to save water. I thought I was making a big impact. But when we really look at it, how much water do we save by installing low flow shower heads, assuming that we're taking daily 15 minute showers? Maybe it's at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, over the course of a year, you would save 2,737.5 gallons of water. That's good, right? Yeah. Well, if you... If you turn down one pound of beef one time, you save 2,500 gallons of water. Because it takes 2,500 gallons of water and 16 pounds of grain to create one pound of beef. Because remember, you're breeding, feeding, and slaughtering an 1,800 pound cow. <coughs> um, okay. So you can say, maybe we can just go vegetarian and we give up beef, right? Well, vegetarians still consume dairy milk products, and it takes 1,000 gallons of water to create one gallon of milk. And we know here in the valley that almonds are very thirsty plants, but vegans like to replace cow's milk with almond milk. Um, I looked it up of how many, how much, how many gallons go into producing almonds, and then how many almonds are used in one gallon of milk, and I calculated it. It takes 66 gallons of water to create one gallon of almond milk. So just saving one gallon, or sorry, a thousand gallons to create one gallon of cow milk and 66 gallons to create one gallon of almond milk. That's a huge water savings, and I drink a lot of almond milk. <laughs> um, consider this. Based on the average American consumption of meat and dairy, you would save, this is a big number, 724,925 gallons of water per year. In order to match that savings, you would have to give up your 15 minute low flow shower head showers for the next 66 years. <laughs> <laughs> Animal ag is also
also the leading cause of species extinction, habitat destruction, and ocean dead zones. But if I want to abide by the five to seven minute speech limit, I'm not gonna be able to touch on all of those things. <laughs> and I've also thrown up a lot of numbers here, so it's a lot to think about, but I wanna show you one more number. Seven million pounds. That's how much poop is excreted by cows, pigs, and chickens in the United States, industrialized ones that we use to slaughter. Every minute, seven million pounds of poop per minute. The law does not require farmers to treat animal waste like we do with human wastewater facilities. So a lot of that poop just sits in cesspools. And I was looking at different studies, and it's estimated that up to half of those cesspools leak into our groundwater and into our oceans. Guess what? Plants don't poop. <laughs> now, you might think animal agriculture is just so big, and I'm just one person, so what? Sorry, if I change my eating habits, it's not going to make that big of a difference. But if you think about it, would you ever tell your child, you're just one person, you can't make a difference? You wouldn't say that, right? Well, why would we say that to ourselves? In fact, we are making a difference by purchasing less meat and dairy products. Dairy and cattle ranchers are feeling the effects of lower prices and plummeting sales. Um, there was actually a, cooler, a cool story earlier this year that a 90-year-old dairy, which had been passed from generation to generation, they sold their cows, they sold their equipment, and they switched to producing plant-based milks. So it just goes to show you that dairymen and cattle ranchers don't have to be out of a job. They can just change what they grow. Now, becoming a vegan is a huge commitment. I get that. Um, it completely changes your identity. You can no longer go into a restaurant and order anything off the menu. You have about that much of the menu you can choose from. It's hard. You can't just go and grab an ice cream cone from you know the store or um, go out with your friends to get some pepperoni pizza. It, it, you're different when you're vegan. <laughs> I know that it's hard to eat differently from the way that the rest of America does. Um, but I hope that by showing you all of these numbers, you can at least consider foregoing a hamburger for a veggie burger every once in a while, or perhaps use some almond milk in your latte rather than milk that was intended for baby cows. Um, you can see from these numbers that one person, even one meal, can make a difference. So I implore you, the next time you look at a menu, consider the vegan option first and do a salt lick for the planet. <laughs>